my kit. Uh, give me more give me worms, please. Give me more worms. Thank you. And another one. My kit. Uh, do you have any? Well. Yep. <gasps> okay. Run. Run, money. We'll get this. This is actually a lot of, like, stuff that you wouldn't figure out first time. Like, you'd have to do it and then go, oh, it didn't quite work, I'll have to do it again. <laughs> it's not intuitive. Trial and error. Okay. Let's go do it again. And not talk to him before we do something. I'm not sure what. A little bit more chocolate. Good, good. Skip that, I've seen it before. Wait, where's my inventory? Oh, there we go. It disappeared! Okay, it worked. Yep, cool. Let's go. It is a puzzle game. Sir goes yep. down again. What else is new? A very, very difficult puzzle game, apparently. Or I'm just terrible. Could be either one. Right. So now, now the door's open again. Did I mess with that? I've just uh -huh. locked an open door. Strange. Yet symbolically compelling. Aha! So that. Okay. Hey, I'm still not getting any messages. I'm giving you one right now. Okay, right. So we'll go now. Hopefully, the door isn't shut this time. Good enough for government work. Cool. Get out, get out of here. Yes. I don't know where that guy goes, because we don't see him go past us. Alright. Open! Yeah! Now what? It's locked. Oh Not god. Picking that up. Really? That red tube looks familiar. Well, okay. He took a card out of it, so maybe I put a card back in it. Yeah? Aha! Uh -huh! hmm. Oh. Too much air pressure. Oh. As a rule, I never touch anything more sophisticated and delicate than myself. It's the sophisticated and delicate. It's locked. That red tube looks familiar. So have I lost that card now? Hmm. Too much air pressure. Well, how do I fix that? Not picking that up. How do I fix that? Hmm. 
Too much air pressure? You sound pretty out of breath, so I'm gonna blow. Always a pleasure, Cal. Mm hmm. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Can you sprint, Manny? Sprint. So. Just marking cards, honey. <laughs> Just don't worry about it. It's normal. I don't play this card there. Yeah. All right. I wasn't asking you to. Better still be open. Okay, good. Now we'll use it. Where is it? Yes. Now use that. Mercedes Colomar, flight number 9308, blah blah blah, died of chicken pox, time of death, yada yada yada. Died of ah, chicken pox? Positive attributes, volunteer time, reading stories to dying children. That's good. That's really good. I think you're it, Mercedes Colomar. I think you're the one for me. Alright, how do I get it? Gladys, are you local? What got into you? I was a company <laughs> Now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it flames and everything. That was not, it's not subtle. Oh, so we're just trying to beat him there? Buenos dias. You're not the nurse? No. You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calavera. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche, I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to... Nowhere? What? Did I do something wrong? What? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. This game is weird. But it's one of those super old ones that everyone says you have to play. So I was like, sure, I'll play it. The voice acting is quite pretty great, though. And there's a lot of good humour in it. Uh... Any, anything, anything about your past you have secrets me. quite a bit considering I've told you nothing did you kill much when you what uh were you a big shoplifter well they accused me of it once really but it wasn't my fault that puppy followed me out of the store oh Ever cheated on your taxes? I've never paid taxes in my life. Aha. Uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's oh. mostly been all volunteer work. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> um. Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. Never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. Not yet. <laughs> a teensy bit of killing? Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. <laughs> Just keep, just keep on asking. Eventually, so, so yeah, I but have murdered a bunch of people. Ever cheated uh, on your husband, Mr. Calavera? There's no ring on my finger. There's no skin on it either. I guess you'll just have to trust me then. Uh, 
mean to animals? Oh no, I love animals. Once, when I was volunteering at an animal shelter, I... Just stop right there. <laughs> Litter? Oh, Manny, is that the best you can do? Work with me, Meche. Give me some dirt. Well, I could do something bad right now, if that would help. Wouldn't count. Sorry, <laughs> I give up. Don't say that, Manny. Why is she being so helpful to me? <laughs> she doesn't know who I am. And she's just died. Uh... Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would you like to see my birthmark? <laughs> sure. Where is it? It's wherever you guys put my skin. Excuse me, <laughs> but I have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble, but please, call me Manny. <clears throat> it's quite an amusing conversation, but... uh. I'm still on the case, Mitchie, but I haven't found anything for you yet. Maybe I'm not the woman you were hoping for. Hmm. I'm sorry I let you down, Manny. Oh! Why is she so sweet? I don't, she doesn't even know me. Domino's door is locked. Oh, so he's he's off somewhere. Oh, hey, funny boss man. bones! In my office now! You vandalized company property okay. in order to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road! All in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent! Yep. There's nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed for you. It's you true. embarrass the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. She's on my side. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She's, she's totally, she's totally with me. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine. Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients the domino. That woman was a <clears throat> and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld alone and unprotected. This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service. Her destiny stolen by some uh... overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve. Get in there and stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me! Uh, he's the one who came in and told me I'm fired if I don't get a good client. Uh, I did... I did break many rules, though. I don't see anyone out there. This. It looks like it dispenses something called philodent. Use it. Ooh, ick. It came out like soft serve ice cream, but judging by the smell, I think it's auto body filler. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if I can. Do I have things to use anymore? Not really. Shake that. Mm-hmm. Hey! Is anybody out there? Oh, who's that? So Manuel, have you thought about what you have done? Who are you? Who's out there? I'm you. Or rather, I was you years ago. Yeah, well I'm me now, so get lost. Wait, what? What are they gonna do to me? I don't want to alarm you, Agent Calavera, but have you ever seen a man sprout it? No. No, I don't go to those parties anymore. Then you don't know. There's nothing more horrible than the bite of the sprouter. 
Its deadly stinger spreads a green disease through every calcified pore on your body, leaving you veined with roots and flocked with grass, steadily growing thicker and thicker until you crash and bloom out in a horrifying bouquet of pain and fragrant suffering, screaming until your mouth fills with petals and your nostrils shoot out thorny stems and the bulbs sprout in your eyes, leaving you nothing but a patch of wildflowers on the ground swarming with butterflies. Are you done? Yes. No. <laughs> I've never seen that. Uh. Get me out of here. The only way out, Manuel, is to be taken back in. Who are you? Are you are still loyal to this company. Declare it loudly. The management might hear and stick you right back in their fold. So what? You have to try harder than that, Manuel. A man's loyalties decide his destiny. <sighs> My loyalty's still to the DOD, believe it or not. Mm. Good boy. You just keep up that spirit and I'm sure you'll get out of here soon enough. Get, out, get me out of here now. Hey, guard! How's my little Count of Monte Cristo? No, really. Who are you? I'm a fellow prisoner, my friend. Maybe, but your cell's a lot bigger than mine. Jamie. Answer the question! Look, you gotta open the door for me, amigo. If you are still loyal, lay down and roll over and bark the company fight song. I know. The DOD runs a crooked game, and I intend to prove it. You would do that? That could cause this agency a lot of trouble. I'm gonna blow the lid off this place. Young man, you are an enemy of the Department of Death. Oh! Welcome to the club. Yes! Adore That's what he wanted. And guest. Where are you going? <gasps> I knew it was a trapdoor! Of the LSA. <sighs> LSA? The Lost Souls Alliance. We're a small group, Manuel. We're always looking for new soldiers. Oh, I'm gonna become a exactly. double agent. We need help in our intelligence unit. You know Eva, of course. Manny. Eva! Once a reaper like yourself, Manuel. But I uncovered a web of corruption in our beloved Department of Death. I have reason to believe that the Bureau of Acquisitions is cheating the very souls it was chartered to serve. I think someone robbing these poor, naive souls of their rightful destinies, leaving them no option but to march on a treacherous trail of tears, unprotected and alone, like babies, Manuel, like babies. What's your evidence? That's where you come in, Manuel. Or should I call you Agent Calavera? Manny suits me fine. I'm not looking to join any military organization, Sal. I just want my job back so I can work off my time and get out of this dump. Well. You won't even be able to get out of this city without my help. Which means, of course, you won't be able to find that woman and you'll never get your job back. When you're ready to join the cause, my man, come talk to me. We might be of some use to each other. Okay, well this game just got a hell of a lot more interesting. <laughs> so suddenly, we're secret agents infiltrating the company. Okay, looking for dirt. I like it.